Hello. In this video, we are going to answer count code from CodingBat, specifically in the Python language. So what we need to do is we need to progress through this entire string, and we need to count the number of times that code appears. However, it's not actually code. It's actually any word that has starts with a CO and ends with an E. So this means we have to ignore that middle, that, that third letter. So initially, let's just do this problem incorrectly. Let's actually just count the number of times we see the word code. So again, I'm going to generalize um, the f one example here. So I'm going to take this, and I'm hoping that this is less than 10, because otherwise it becomes challenging to see. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Perfect. So again, what's the first string that I want to pull out? I want to pull out str. My reading frame size is going to be 4. And that's going to give me AAAC, STR. And then my last case is going to go 6 colon 10. And that's going to give me EBBB. Simple enough. So again, the generalized algorithm we talked about in these situations is, is 4i in range. What we do is we start at 0. We go to the length of the string. And we subtract one less than the reading frame size. So if code is a four-letter word, we're going to subtract three, comma, one. I could figure this out again by looking at this last case. If that's not clear, I see that I need to reach the six to pull at the substring. So that means this has to reach seven, which is three less than ten. So now I just do something like if str at i, i plus four is equivalent to code. Now we say CTR equals CTR plus one, and then we return CTR. Do you see my mistake? Besides the fact that I haven't done this question correctly, um, I haven't, be careful, I haven't actually declared CTR here. I have to declare initially, because this is a self-referencing assignment statement the first time we see it, CTR has to have a value. So if I run this, sure enough, it's gonna work sometimes, but not always. And again, the reason for that is, I'm not actually looking for the word code, I'm looking for C-O-D-E. So how do we do this? What we do is we break up how we inspect this. So if I take the word code, for example, 0, 1, 2, 3, what I can do is I can break it up into two parts. I can check, let's call this W equals, let's say we have W which is code. We can look at W, which is 0, colon, 2, which is going to pull out the first two letters. And then we want the last letter, which is going to be W at 3. But remember, we have to relate this to I. So in this case, if I want to look at just CO, it's going to be I, I plus 2. And that's going to check the CO. And now I'm going to say and STR at I plus 3 is equal to, equivalent to E. So what we've done here is we've looked at the first two letters and the last letter, and we've effectively ignored that middle letter, well, third letter, so to speak. And if I hit go, sure enough, it works. I hope that helps. And as always, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. I really do believe that coding bat is one of the best exercises you can do if you're interested in, in pursuing computer science at a higher level. It's a wonderful group. It's a wonderful tool to kind of develop these a sense of of how to how to approach algorithm development. Good luck.